Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to our channel once again. Today's video request is how to create a poster design in Canva. So we're going to start now. Depending on the kind of poster you want to make, you might already have specific dimensions you'd like to use. So to create a design with specific dimensions, click on this custom size button right over here. And then input your desired dimensions on the spaces provided and choose your desired unit as well. But if you want to create a poster freely and you're okay with any dimensions, you can go to the search bar and type in poster. You can choose from a double-sided portrait or a double-sided landscape poster. And if you'd like to uh, see all or to view everything, go to see all to take you to the templates page. So this is the templates page. Scroll down and you can freely choose or select any template you want to use. Once you find one, just click on it and then click on customize this template. And here we are. We're just going to close this one. By the way, this is just a panel. Um, yeah, this is a panel where you want to go to if you'd like your poster to be professionally printed by Canva and delivered to your house. But we're not going to need that today. So we're going to close that. And in case you'd like to change your template, you can go to the design section on the sidebar and you'll be able to see the templates from there. You can also use the search bar to um, specifically find what you're looking for. So as for me, maybe I should um, change it to something like this. I think it's okay. It's kind of like more of an infographic. Um, let's try to see if we have other posters here. Oh, this one's nice. I like it, so we're going to use this one instead. Okay, so we're going to start customizing our template right now. So, of course, if you'd like to use your own photos to be able to insert them on your design, then go to Uploads on the sidebar and then choose from your photos over here. If you don't have any photos uh, uploaded to I, this section yet, then go ahead and click on Upload Files and then select the files you want to upload, then click Open and they'll show up right over here. As for me, I don't have any photos of nature, so maybe I'm just going to go to the Elements section to look for an example that I could use for today's video, just to show you something to work with. So let's say, for example, um, we're a travel agency and we're making a poster that we can post on social media. So let's look for beautiful places and go to photos. And maybe we can choose um, awesome photos from here. Like this, for example, we're going to drag that over here and replace that one. If, and if in case we would like to adjust um, our photo, we can double click and adjust the position and then click on done. I think it's nice, but maybe we could choose something, something else. And then maybe add this one over here. Maybe I'm just going to remove this and place this over here. Turn this into white instead so that it's more visible and we're going to add an effect to it such as a lift or a shadow. Change the shadow's color to black and there you go. It made such a good difference, I think. And I'd like to adjust the spacing for this one. So maybe I could say travel. with us. Okay, that should be fine, I think. 
Oh, so this is actually also a travel agency. Good. <laughs> All right, I like the layout, so maybe we can just replace the color here. Mm, but in order to make it a bit different from the original template, yeah, maybe we could use a rectangle, change it to the color of our beach over here. So I'm going to click, oh, we already have a color palette generated, so I like it. We're going to choose this one. And we're going to extend it all the way to the other side, just like that. And you can place your contact number over here, as well as all of your other details. I'm not going to be editing them for now because I don't have any information that I could replace these with. So yeah, let's just pretend that that's it. Okay, so we're going to name our travel agency, for example, ABCD Travel Agency. And then you can place your slogan over here. Um, I think I'd like to change the layout for this one, so maybe I could move this to the other side. Change the color of this one to this. And perhaps do something like that. Or maybe we could change the frame overall, just to make ours look different. Now, the reason why I'd like to keep my template different, a bit different, and customize it is because, well, other people can also use the same template. So, um, yeah, I think it's also a way for us to add our personality to our design. So I like to edit it that way. So I'm going to try to go to the elements section and type in here frame. And I always like to use the circle frame because it's very simple yet still very stylish. And then we're going to go to photos again and look for more photos of travel. And then we're going to insert that there. Um, okay, hiking tours. You can replace these information whatever you want. So, yeah, it's all up to you. And then I'm going to move this maybe somewhere over here. Copy this one or duplicate it. Put it over here. And then we're going to move move these again. And then search for a photo and yeah once again please use your own photos for this one since you're basically kind of like advertising <laughs> or yeah if that's the purpose of your design and we're gonna duplicate this one again place that over here and i'm just gonna look for cycling pictures to have something to work with for today's video. And to make our frames look interesting, a lot more interesting, we're going to make sure that they're perfectly aligned. And I'm going to look for circle elements right here. I'm going to go to graphics because I think I can change the, I can change the, um, colors so that's what i like and i am going to use the color picker tool and choose this color i think it's much better than this so i'm going to replace everything and i think i like it much better i'm going to position it to the back I'm going to zoom in and then I'm going to duplicate and put that over here and send it backward. And do it one more time for this one over here. Okay, 
I guess that's it. Uh, maybe I'd like to change the um, color for this one. Okay. And yeah, feel free to add any other decorative elements if you like. Let's try to search for something. This one's nice, but oh yeah, we can actually change the color. So I'd like to change it to white. And resize it just like that. And then I'm going to duplicate it. Place the other one over here, but we're going to turn it into... Yeah, this shade of blue, perhaps. Then we're going to do the same thing over here. Okay, I think it made it mm, a little bit <laughs> interesting. So now that we're done, we're ready to share it and download it. So to do that, we're going to go to the share button and we're going to click on download. Select your desired file type over here and then adjust other download settings as well according to your preferences or needs. And then finally, click on download. And there you have it. That's how you create a poster design in Canva. So thanks so much for designing with us today. We hope you found today's video of help somehow, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. You have a great day.